yeah, it's my third year. I'm, I'm mentoring now. I feel like I know more now than I did before. It's different. Like it requires, I think all the variables are always different. The questions are always different. So it's, it's never like dull. It's never, we've done this before. There's always something new. Like, does this look like okay? I feel like it looks very basic. Mm -hmm. How do I uh, spice it up? Going home, like trying to drive from that menstruation, actually like caused. Actually, no. I'm just gonna say. Um, if you don't want to, if it's uncomfortable, it's fine. No, but it's fine, but can we need to be in personal information as like our kind of external data? Be like where they're like, oh my god, that's a Buick. Well, our professor drives a Buick, and we're so shocked that it was a Buick. That's just turned into a joke, so we are officially Team Buick. I'm Johnny. I'm Rachel. And we are... And then those are our partners. It's Marissa, yeah. John, and Noah. And Team Buick. Okay. Okay, hi guys. Welcome. Um, so we are the Data Monkeys from UMass Dartmouth. My name is Nancy. I'm Linda. And then we have Jenny in the back over there. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> um, so we're going to show you what we did in the last 48 hours.
journey. Uh, so first year was kind of a, I was participating, not really knowing what I was doing, but I was able to contribute to our team with external data and really help the team win that award because no one else used it, so best use of external data. Last year, I really helped the team with our Tableau dashboard so our team could win best use of visualization, had fun. I, those two years I had fun. This year I came back as a mentor, had a lot of fun mentoring people, helping people when they got stuck. I'm kind of throwing ideas out there, helping lead the UMass team to hopefully win. Well, we don't have results yet, but hopefully and that's it. I mean, it's just a fun experience and I've loved it. And then hopefully I'll be back next year in some way or another. I really have been able to see like how difficult it really is to kind of like when you have such a big data set and a very ill-defined question to have to extract anything. And I think the important thing, especially for next year to know, is you really have to specify the strategy, what you're looking for, and so you can be able to have a specific, or what you wind up with in the end, is a specific measurement of whatever you're looking for. Because when you have such a broad question, it's easy to think about, oh, well, what, what if we look at this? What if we look at that? And then you end up just finding nothing because it's more important, I feel, to have some, a really concrete thing to say with the data at the end of the competition than having a lot of information that probably will not impress the judges because they'll just end up confused. But my experience at Data Fest, um, it was quite an experience. Um, it was almost kind of like a hackathon. Um, the data was really different and it was kind of, it was like nice to have like Linda like help us guide, you know, she was a real good team leader and Jenny as well, getting external data. Um, yeah, I, I, if I could, I'd do it again. It was fun. So each award has a runner up and a first place. For best insight, uh, the runner up is the Data Pythons. <laughs> different every year I'll tell you that much like I mean actually last year um, I had a grad school interview at WPI where I'm now I am and I talked about it because it was the next day it was the day after data fest was my interview and I talked about it and told and that was what they were looking for they wanted somebody who could write code and who knew the math